Hi guys, so what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a super fun video about your capsule eyeshadow collection. Originally inspired by this video when I was kind of curating a capsule wardrobe. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically taking staples in your wardrobe that you can kind of mix and match, throw together and kind of wear whatever. And it's a certain amount of items. I think it's like 33 pieces of clothing. And I thought, why couldn't I do a capsule eyeshadow palette and create a palette and show you guys tips for how to create your own capsule eyeshadow palette with single eyeshadows and just create your perfect palette that you would either take with you traveling that's your everyday life palette or that you could use for your kit or something like that so we will be going through all that this is a preview of mine I know it looks a little bit I mean to me I'm like oh my gosh this is the best but if you are uncomfortable with color we will go through that and kind of talk about why these shades are in here for me and what you can do to translate it to make it work for you. Um, also, I will be giving generalized recommendations as well as specific shadows. So some of these will be, again, generalized based on what would work best for your skin tone and stuff like that. Others will be colors that I think you must have in your palette that I think would benefit any look. I know I have done What's In My Life palette, which it was a huge palette, like double-sided. I still use that and it's still full with eyeshadows, but I thought this was a nice way. So if you wanna travel, if you're looking for just a single palette to fill with eyeshadows, you can definitely do that. It's nice to have all the things that you would need in one small palette instead of, because that other palette is quite thick. So if I was only going traveling for a little bit, I could just grab this palette and go instead of taking that whole big thing. And it's a good starting point for any eyeshadow collector. You by all means do not have to fill this up. I'm giving a load of examples and a load of reasonings why this is filled up. So definitely don't feel pressure to fill this up and we will go through cool tone and warm tone and all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and let's jump into it. This is more of a generalized eyeshadow, not anything super specific. You should always have a skin tone matte eyeshadow. I love a matte eyeshadow that's close to my skin tone for a lot of reasons. The first one being you can set an eyeshadow base. So if you find that some eyeshadows work best without the sticky base, you can really use the skin tone matte eyeshadow to set that then go in with your transition and all that kind of stuff. You can use th this eyeshadow to kind of knock down the shade if you over blend up into this area, and it will help to knock it down and to lower it back into the crease. Sometimes that happens to me where I will just be blending so hard that I over blend and it gets like up to my eyebrow, and then I go in with the matte eyeshadow that's close to my skin tone to really just ground everything. You can always use this eyeshadow for an inner corner highlight if you're doing a really dramatic look. You just want something that's just gonna Brighten the area just a touch. This is a great thing to use. I just dropped it, but it didn't break. <laughs> Would say that is a must have in your collection. Depending on your skin tone, you will have to adjust it so yours might not be as light as mine, um, or it might be lighter depending on your skin tone. The second thing that I think is a must have is a matte black eyeshadow. I know we're talking about mattes a lot. I apologize if you're not that into mattes, but I definitely think a matte black eyeshadow is really important because you can use this to deepen outer corners of the eyes. If you don't have a lot of eyeshadows, you can use this, kind of dip back and forth in one shadow, dip in the black to make other varying shades of the same color. So that's actually a nice little trick if you don't have a lot of eyeshadows to use the black to really deepen any color you want. You can use it for eyeliner, really smudged on the lashes. You can really intensify the lower lash line as well. So matte black eyeshadow, even though it is something that is kind of boring, I definitely think it needs to be in your life palette. My favorite one is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. Anyways, I would definitely have a matte black eyeshadow in your palette just because it is so versatile. So now let's talk about transition shades. I think it is important to have transition shades based on what your comfortability is. So for me, my comfortability is definitely warm looks, but I will do cool tone looks in the same note. So I like to have two transition shades for myself and my skin tone. Not going to be as light as the matte eyeshadow that you place all over, but it's going to be in the same realm. I like to have something that will work with different kinds of looks in the color families. Have a really pretty peach one. You could definitely do peach smoothie by Makeup Geek. I know that's a favorite. This is my cool tone transition shade right here that will kind of work in this cool area. They're just really easy to have, perfect for starting the blending process in the eye. If you find that it, you place darker shades and it's not blending out, you can go back in with that transition shade and really help to blend everything out. Just because it's a really pretty gradient. I have a transition shade on my eyes today. It's actually this one in my capsule palette. 
Okay, now I would recommend having some matte eyeshadows for the crease. You can do two matte eyeshadows, you can do one matte eyeshadow, depending on how much time you have in the day and how much time you have to get ready. I would really recommend having at least one matte eyeshadow for the crease in addition to the transition shade. For me, I really like to just dip in and blend all the shades together. I will tend to like dip in here, then go here, then go here, then maybe here maybe deep in here. So these are gonna be all shades for the crease. I prefer matte shades for the crease, that is just myself. I find that they blend easier in the crease. They look more cohesive in the crease. They just, I just think that it works better in the crease. My cool tones, we have these shades in here that you can really use for the crease. Now, let's say you don't have a lot of eyeshadows. Again, that's where the black comes in. Let's say you don't have a deep gray. You can dip into this gray and then go into the black and create a deep gray. So I will say that if you don't, have a lot of matte eyeshadows, at least have one in your palette in addition to the black so that way you can create a variety of shades and then you don't have to worry about tones going together either. You can really go ahead and just work it out and the tone will always match if you deepen it with a black eyeshadow. Next thing that I think is super important is having one shade, at least one shade for the lid. I would recommend having a shade that is also lighter for the lid and inner corner and you can also place this all over the lid if you really want to have a beautiful classic look. Having a shimmery white or something that is a little bit lighter than your skin tone will look really beautiful. As you can tell in my warm toned area, I have these two that are really gonna go well with any of the warm toned eyeshadows that I have. And then I have these three for my cool tones. This one right here is very versatile. I talked about it in my 10 unique eyeshadows because it can go purple with these tones or it can go really mauve with more of these. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. And then I have a blue for these looks and also this one. So it's just all depending on what you would like in your eye area. And that doesn't mean that I can't, if I use these cool tones, that doesn't mean that I can't jump over and use more of these warm tones. It's just kind of set up to how I would construct a look. If you don't like shimmers, if you love all matte looks, then by all means, just do all matte shades. Or if you are like, you know what, I don't like full on shimmer or foiled eyeshadows, go with satin shades. It's totally up to you and this palette is designed to make it the best palette for you and for your life. So let's talk about pops of color. This might not pertain to you in your collection, but to me, I definitely have to have some color in there. So this is going to be the center row down here. And I like to have pops of color for special occasions. I can incorporate the shades that I'm comfortable with and I can use the similar tones on a day-to-day -day basis if I want to. Like these oranges, pair really well with this warm toned purple right here. Love to place a lime green with oranges, that's as I have on my eyes today. You can even place it with the blues. You could do this shade, this glass bowl by um, ColourPop. So I can kind of incorporate that. I can even do these blues with this green if I'm feeling like I wanna be really bright that day. And this is more based on your realm of color comfort. So if you, you're like, you know what, these are so loud to me. I love warm toned shadows, but this orange is a little bit too much. Definitely place that in your pop of color then because then you can really go to have that orange pop of color and it's still gonna work in your day-to-day -day colors. That's the thing is just playing with your day-to-day -day colors, figuring out what could I amplify for a special occasion? Say I'm going to a party, I'm going to a dinner, something like that. What can I put in here that would just add to my day-to-day -day look and bump it up really quickly, but on the go? Okay, so I tried to break this eyeshadow palette down into sections. So if you go down the row, you will start to see that each one can create a look. It is the same for the cool tone side. This will create a look. This center will create a look as well as this third row will create a look. If you despise warm tones, you can kind of section this off and see that I have a cool tone section so you can work in that. If you don't like cool tones, you can section this guy off and see that I have a warm toned bundle right there. Bundle of love. I love warm tones, especially oranges as you can tell. You can also say I'm only going away for two days and I know that my comfortability personally is in warm tones. So I can even pop these shades out like this little nine, or if I wanted to take a shimmer, I could pop one out. It's just kind of depending. I could even do a quad from here of shadows I would take with me for an overnight trip or a few days. I could easily pop these out. I know they're gonna look good together and put them in a smaller palette, even like a little quad I could put in there. Okay guys, so that is it. If you want to know all the specific colors that are in my capsule, 
collection. I will leave them down below. I know it's a lot of information to take in and I didn't want to overwhelm you with specific shades and all that good stuff. Let me know if you would like to see a look out of these shades. I pretty much use these all the time, so I think it will be quite easy to do. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave and I'll see you next time. Bye.